what did God do? So he protected and blessed Abraham despite his lack of faith at that moment because God honoured that first step that Abraham made, which was taking the step to go towards Canaan. So whatever happens along the way, if you, if you lack faith, God is going to still protect you and bless you. So even now when we are all in fearful of this coronavirus, we may lack faith, but God knows He will protect us. He will bless us. Amen. Amen. Okay, so God never chooses a perfect man. He only chooses someone with the, perf- with the right heart. All right, so we continue. So from Egypt, Abraham went back to Canaan. And again, God spoke to him. He said, I will make your offspring as the dust of the earth. You know, when, when God said that, he didn't say, yeah, yeah, right. Yes, Lord. That's uh, Genesis 13, 14 to 17. Okay, so he didn't doubt, he didn't mock God. He believed God. Amen. And we shall look at one more scripture, which is Genesis 15, verse 3 to 4. And Abraham said, Behold, you have given me no offspring, and a member of my household will be my heir. One more verse. And and behold, the word of the Lord came to him. This man will not be your heir. Your own son shall be your heir. And he said, and he brought him outside. Please continue. And he said, look toward heaven and number the stars. If you are able to number them. And then he said to him, so shall your offspring be. And Abraham believed the Lord and he counted it to him as righteousness. So Abraham... You see, God gave the word 25 years ago when he was 75. And Abraham had Isaac when he was 100 years old. 25 years of waiting. So here, I used to think, Lord, why did you have to say it so much earlier? You know? But I think God has said it that early so that Abraham can move forward with his eyes fixed on him, knowing that God will bless him with an offspring. But what we tend to do is, we think that when when the Lord gives us a a prophecy, we think it's going to take place in the next few months, maybe the next year, not knowing that sometimes His prophecy can be so far many years uh, in time. Example, like how uh, Pastor Stephen has said, when I was 15 and a half, the Lord said that He'll bring him to nations. But that only happened, uh, happened 30 years later to Germany. Amen. So, Abraham had patience. He didn't doubt. He didn't mock God. So what can we learn from him? That when God gives us a word, we have to hold on to it, knowing and trusting that it will come to pass. No matter how long it takes, it will happen. God always proves he is never wrong. Amen. So, Therefore, Abraham was a friend of God. He was a father of faith. He was a man of courage, patience, strength. He had strong convictions. He didn't give up halfway. So God wants people with strong convictions, with a a steadfast spirit, so that no matter what happens, we do not go back. When we put our hand on the plow, we will never turn back. That's the kind of people, that's the kind of laborers, children, servants that he wants. And you see, when Abraham had an encounter, he changed. That is the most important part. It's not about having the encounter and you feel goosebumps all over you. And you say, ooh, I feel like you know, floating. Some, some people, you know, you have this kind of experience. I see gold dust. They tell me that too. But the question is, did that encounter change you and transform you? That is the important thing.